Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Fail, they never tired, they were sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! That little fucking brat! Oh, it's all her fault! Daddy's very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson.
come and get you! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? 
I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Uh. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna take. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move!
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I...
28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing, that I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. RA-9. Who is RA-9? I'm done. It's doing? destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, 
I can't stop it! That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Watch out! Holy shit! All right, end of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Doing. They're not 
Come on, let's go. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything.
There's nothing more this way. It looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? 
forever. Thank <laughs> you.